So, I'm in Tichno and this is my last day. I didn't, I actually, I did record quite a few things and the things that I couldn't record, I didn't record. So, I'm gonna go around to town today. Quick brief, I'm gonna go get some breakfast, but this is where I'm at. <laughs> so, why don't we take a look around this beautiful, lovely wonderland place? Cause that's all I can say it is, it really is. So, come and check it out. So the first thing you should know about Tisno, or Croatia, they drive on the opposite road, side of the road. Um, so when you're crossing over, make sure don't look your normal way, <laughs> look the other way first. Accidents do happen. So we're at the dock right now, and this is where you can uh, rent out a number of uh, boats and stuff. We're gonna show you the boats in a minute. Um, you do need a boat license if you want to drive anything or a powerful boat. But there is ones where you can hire for non-people who have who haven't got any driving license, uh, driving license or boat license. Um, they're they're kind of fast. <laughs> okay, they can take you around the island. Um, that's all you have to do. Don't like, don't fret up where you're going. Just Google it. Just go Google Map and then you can see the whole island and you can ride around. There's loads of different kind of islands there. Um, beautiful um, sea. Look, I'm going to swatch this around so you can see how amazing the sea is. Oh. Absolutely amazing. The noises that you hear is the grasshoppers. They go on day and freaking night. So that's the noise, grasshoppers. They live up in the trees. You don't see them, but you can freaking hear them. Um, so if you're coming over to uh, Tisno and you're having a, we we'll say a lovely night, so to speak. And you've got a hangover like a mother. <laughs> it's gonna be these um, grasshoppers that you can hear. It's constant, it's absolutely constant. I don't know how people can sleep. That's the only, the only, only downside to that. But it compensates with this lovely, um, these lovely views. Yeah. Right, mate, how you doing? Everybody here around here is friendly. It's as simple as that. There, you won't get no kind of problems whatsoever. Um, they don't judge you. Um, they love you to come. They love tourists. They really, really do. Um, very, very, very expensive. So they trip away with him because they know you're a tourist. But at the same time, that money's still kind of like, uh, it's nothing. I mean, cigarettes are about, say, two pounds. So when they see you, they charge about five pounds. You still laugh at Um Cabs, they're about, say, I don't know, two pounds. But when they see you, they're gonna charge you about, well, no, actually, they will charge you about the same kind of price what you get over in London. That's what they do. And no matter where you go, they're still gonna charge you that kind of price. So that's okay. You can take a boat taxi to take you straight to the venue. I highly recommend it. Um, so you all the kerfuffle. I'm going to go over this bridge. Yes, please. I'm going to go over this bridge because I'm hungry <laughs> and I want something to eat. I've lost Carlos. Don't know where he is. He woke up this morning and he went out. But it's one of those things. You don't wait for anybody. There's plenty of things for you to do. So here's the bridge. This opens up about say six o'clock to let all the boats come in. You can see over that side. So. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. So me and Carlos, um, I'm gonna show you the boat that me and Carlos took. It's still there. Um, actually, yeah, it is. Like I said. Bridging! You get up! Yeah, so this is my bridging, Carly. Yeah, all right. Yes, so we've, I'm just doing a, a walk around, showing everybody what's going on. Have you had breakfast? Yeah. 
So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I said a rubber steak. Oh, where? Yeah. Like where temperature we had the pizza? No, 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 around, around the back, right around here. Right, I was um, looking, hunting, I couldn't find anything, but I found something around there, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and eat and uh, do a little tutorial yeah. on that thing. So, we're over the bridge, over at uh, Tisno. Um, I said, I'm gonna talk, take, give you a little tour of this lovely, fabulous place of Tisno. It is a fishing village, number one. So you'll see a damn of loads of um, boats. And that's it, the people are really, really, really lovely. There's lovely old buildings as well. This church rings constantly. It, I don't know what kind of, um, you know, reasons or celebrations or whatever happened. You know, over here we have, I mean, over there, over in England, we have this uh, one o'clock or every half an hour or something like that. This does different kind of rings. Um, whenever it wants, it's random rings. And I thought it was linked to a church, um, but it's not. So I'm gonna check that out and find out what the heck is that about. Um, over there, lovely shops. I'm gonna take you through that in a minute. Um, I'm gonna cross over, no, I'm not gonna cross over, I'm gonna go onto this part here. So apologies for my uh, camera shots. They're completely crap. So, there's many people that. Yes, bruv. There's um, many things that you can do. The locals swim in the sea. But there is um, sea urchins in there, so you do have to wear uh, the protective shoes or it's going to ruin your holiday. Put it that way. You don't want to step on one of those. And they're literally everywhere. Somehow, the locals, they swim about and they don't, they don't get like. They don't get none of those things. And I've seen kids run, oh mate, they all jump, jump in there. I don't know how they avoid them. I seriously don't. Over here, a number of cafes and shops. So you are not going to be uh, left hungry by any means. I do recommend you try, if you like fish, lobsters are amazing. Um, but I'm, I don't like fish, so I have my mixed meat and uh, steaks and that. These are the boats that you can rent out. Anything bigger than that, then you need a uh, boat license. So <laughs> you know what we're gonna do when we come back. It's all those ones. So that's what we, me and Carlos took, um, going around the whole island. That's all you need. It takes roughly about, say, three and a half hours to go around the island. And if you want to stop off, obviously it's going to take longer because there's plenty of things to just check out. You just anchor. Uh, and then, you know, if you've got your little small snorkel and uh, goggles, just jump into the sea, man, and just check it out. Um, there's lovely tropical fishes in there. Um, you aren't going to find no sharks or anything like that. So there's nothing to scare you, except for these urchins. Um, so yeah. Go out and enjoy yourself. Like I said, look, look at that island. Me and Kai went to about, say, 10 different islands um, and just anchored, dived under to see what's underneath, well, you know, see what's beside it. Um, we also went into the middle of nowhere. And anchored away. The anchor didn't even touch the ground. Uh, we've got sort of like a, uh, I, th I think it's a 40 foot um, rope anchor. It didn't touch. And we went down, and it was, you think that the lower you go, uh, the more cold, colder it is. But there's some parts where it's absolutely amazingly hot when you go down there. And that's the warm current underneath the sea. And that was, ama <laughs> that was an amazing feeling. <clears throat> you get random. Look at this ship. I'm in this yacht here. So over this side, you have um, you know the small little supermarket where you can get little you know drinks and all that stuff for your accommodation. But I wouldn't recommend you um, buying shitloads ready to cook because there's loads of places for you to go and eat. So here you can see there's um, I don't know if it's reversing because I'm. I'm you know, the camera when you record it in these words it might come out reverse so hopefully this won't come out reverse um but like i said th there's um plenty of things you can do there's a um taxi that will take you to the venues 
and drop you back again. If you don't want to take the ferry, you can take a boat that'll take you straight to the venue on the other side. So you don't need that line up or walk all the way through random different places. Um, it can just take you straight to the uh, venue front, so which is really nice. Right there is where I might have something to eat. I'm gonna look around first. And here, if you are eating, they just dock here. There you go. They just dock here. What well, like we did before. We docked here, I think, and we went to that restaurant over there where it says pizza. I don't know if So, what's the prices around here? I mean, to get on a plane, to go to uh, Croatia, well, on the peak season, it's roughly about, say, I don't know, 400 quid. Money-wise, spending money, mm, you need, if, it depends how much, if you're gonna stay there for a week, um, spending 100 pound a day is feasible. If you wanna go out longer, um, you know, if you wanna go big, then yeah, fine, go big. But on average, 100 pound a day, um, you get to do a hell of a lot with 100 pounds, trust me. Uh, more than, more than. You're gonna try, you're gonna find it hard in um, spending 100 pounds in a day. Put it this way, for the rental of these boats, it's 102 pounds. So that's your set day anyway. That's saying if you, but you can take a taxi, boat taxi, um, far less than that. But if you want, you know, if you want to do this by yourself and you want to do it big, then yeah 102 pounds and then they charge you for the petrol and how much you petrol use well a whole tank of petrol um i think it's a uh, 16 liter that's roughly about uh i think about 20 pounds something like that something stupid so i would say get one of these boats make sure you bring it loads of water um some snacks as well on there because once you go out on that um, in the open it is effing hot <laughs> and there's no way that you can hide well they've got the shade thing that you can see on the boats but when you if you want to have a proper tan you just pull that down especially if you're going to go underneath the bridges and stuff you have to put it down anyway and it's very very simple to take um to pull down it's just two strings unlock it uh, and that's it and there you go you're off um but yeah definitely take some loads of water um some snacks um Obviously, lotion cream if you want lotion cream and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, just go out there. There's loads of, um, they, what they do also, they give you a map, even though you can Google, they give you a map and say, look, these are the various places that you can go. If you avoid um, going to this place because it's uh, yeah, um, low, uh, the, the, the water's low, so you might hit rocks and stuff. So you want to note those things in. Um, away you go, man, the world's oyster. Oh, apologies for not showing the waterfall. Um, it takes, it goes, it's like, to, um, where is it? It's about, say, three miles that way on the sea. And it goes through sort of like a water cannon. And then you get to the uh, waterfall. You can't go into it. It's like six, it's about eight different levels of waterfalls. Absolutely beautiful to uh, to see. It's, it's the um, Titsno National Park. I highly recommend that. Various other places as well. But if you're just here to uh, rave, You're gonna miss all of this because you're gonna rave hard. And I've seen so many zombies, they rave hard and you don't see them until um, the next evening. And then by, I don't know, Sunday, you don't see them at all. They're absolutely messed up. Um, if you're not a zombie like myself, then you, finish at a reasonable time, you wake up at a reasonable time and you enjoy fabulous things like this. You really do. So, if you're here just to party, you're gonna miss a lot of things, but if you're here to see how beautiful this place is, then you're not gonna be disappointed. Now, like I said before, the grasshoppers, the grasshoppers are the size of your uh, index finger, they're, 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 they're that big. You will not see them for love or money, but you'll definitely hear them. And like I said, it is constant. They do not have a break, not even on a Sunday. They do not have a break. Um, so that's something that you have to get used to. Uh, is it annoying? Um, 
I, I guess you tend to live with it, don't you? You can't get rid of them, so they're here to stay. I've seen in a number of um, the gardens, every garden that you go through, um, they've all got grapes, um, kiwi. Um, what else did I see? Oh, tomatoes. And their tomatoes is, oh my gosh. There's this guy um, who lives lower down below, below me. And his garden, he's got everything, even fruits that I've never seen before. And he was just, it's only a small garden. It's really, really a small garden. But the things that, he's grow, that he grows in there, bloody hell, mate. So, we go this side. So this is where, the other side of where I was. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I'm just walking down this side first. So, oh, there's also scuba diving over that side. Um, there's loads of uh, pubs that's on the beach. I'll say pubs, they play some banging tunes as well. And there's, oh, Tisno is not a sandy beach. It says there's no sand. Um, it's pebbles um, and things like this. So you can just literally walk off and just dive straight in. No one ain't gonna tell you anything. They all do it. But um, I don't know if I can see any. Yeah, they are. So as you can see down there, there are sea urchins. I don't know if you can see it. But they're all everywhere, look. Those little black dots. Yeah. Those are things that you need to be careful of. And they look like, you know, lovely little black sponges, but as soon as you step on them, they've got these sharp um, spines and that start poisoning to you. Um, so that will just basically ruin, it's not gonna kill you, but it's gonna ruin your day. Um, well, it'll ruin your whole uh, holiday because you'll be stuck up there and you'll start swelling and blah, 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 blah. You know the rest. Um, worse than a beast thing. Um, uh, to be fair, I'd rather get stabbed than uh, step on a sea urchin. And uh, that's something. Um, there was this woman that stepped on it and that just ruined her whole friggin' holiday. Typed up, wrapped up. Um, there is a small, um, I wouldn't call it a um, hospital, like a small A and E that's on the island. Because um, they know that a lot of tourists don't know about these uh, sea urch in here. So, yeah, it's a it's a horrible warning, but it's definitely a lesson learned. So, this is where people live I don't think there is any um, shops around here but there's loads of apartments that you can rent so all the, the, sh the houses that you saw down here they're all rent you can all rent them um, apartments rent the whole thing um, or, or just a room they're, they're really really cheap they really are my next when I come back here next with me and Carlos's boat license we're gonna get one of these bad boys um, we also have two friends who uh, work on the River Thames, they're fire, uh, fire brigades. And so they have their um, boat license so they can drive any kind of boat, even the high powerful ones. So I'm gonna kidnap both of them, pay for their, their holiday or something, I don't know. Let's chip in and make sure that um, if we can, God willing, we can rent one of these bad boys. Yeah, you will need the license um, and a number of years of having that license and professional. So what a way to bring your brethren who, uh, who are f f uh, firemen on the uh, River Thames, they can get that and much bigger as well. So that's going to be the next, uh, yeah, the, the next project when we come back here for next year. So hopefully, God willing, um, yeah, we'll do that and uh, I'm sure the videos will be amazing. <laughs> okay, you got the random small little fishing boats. Not that one, this one. Um, those are just, just to go around a little bit, you know, just go from here to there or maybe over there. Um, I, wouldn't suggest, I wouldn't recommend you go around the whole island uh, in one of these boats. It will take you forever. Uh, and with the engine, um, sort of like a, a 10 horsepower, engine that would take you around there for i know it's really slow um but it'll give you about say three and a half four hours um to go around the whole island choppy waters and everything else and you're literally going out i guess you can see the island in a distance that gives you some kind of security um but yeah you know google map and see your, you know your blue round circle dot and it shows you exactly where you are and how far you need to go around and all that kind of stuff um 
but yeah. So people come out here really early to catch the early sun uh, because it just gets hotter and hotter. So yeah, it starts about say, you come out here for about six o'clock in the morning, do you think, well the locals are up before six o'clock in the morning, doing their thing, and then as soon as it reaches 10, 11, 12, it just goes, it just goes crazy, crazy hot. So definitely take um, all kinds of sun protections, definitely need your glasses, um, you ain't gonna need any <laughs> shorts and shirts. Sometimes it's, it's good intentions to bring shorts and shirts, but I very much doubt that you are going to wear a shirt that's like this. I'm only wearing this, uh, why am I wearing, oh, I'm wearing this because I need to eat. So when you go into restaurants, you can't go into the restaurants with bare chest. You've got to put a shirt on, so have a shirt, have a look at the bag like that, put the shirt in there, and then time you know, walk around with bare chest or whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, when you go into restaurants and stuff, then uh, put your shirt on, come on, be decent. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. We're just being silent for a moment. Let's take it. So, I'm about to say, we'll see, Daisy. Yeah, they're about to say, beer. And you can see the ropes. And there's some ropes that's not attached to the boats. So when the boats come in, you just hook it, catch that rope, then uh, tie it to your boat. Um, and that's it, you don't need to anchor if you're gonna, if you're gonna tie, um, tie your boat to these um, chains, to these hooks, that's fine. Um, it is deep as a bastard in here, so don't think it's just shallow, it's not. It is really deep. Let's show some of these houses as well, these flats. So like I said, all of these you can rent. It does look old because it is old. It's an old, very, it's an old village, but inside it is, has mod comms. It has your, um, you know, your um, air conditioning. Um, they're, all kind of, they're all very reasonable. They have all the uh, various facilities that you do need uh, within the kitchen, your pots and pans and blah, blah, blah. But like I said, you're not gonna use it. You're just gonna go out. And shame on you if you come here and you cook. Cause, pff, come on. Why do you want to cook on holiday? So you have the locals that say they know how to swim and know how to do it big. They just, I don't know. I don't say if, I don't know if it's the, uh, the sea urchins know they're locals, but they just don't get, they don't get it. And they're everywhere. I don't know how they managed to come up and get out without stepping on one. But you see them all do it. The kids, the, the, the grandparents, you know, like everybody and everybody goes in there. You know, it doesn't matter what age you are. But they're very, very experienced in here. And I've seen, I sat down and seen them. I've seen loads of urchins there on the side. And they just walk in, come in and get out. And it's not a problem. Anybody else, they'll get stared at Tom. The language they speak over here, uh, Croatian. Um, if you know the history, um, then I don't need to explain to you, that's fine. Um, but yeah, Serbia, Montenegro, um, Croatia, they all speak the same language, but you can't say that. That's kind of like an insult. So you say Croatian. If you're in Montenegro, you speak in Montenegrin. Uh, if you're from Serbia, you speak Serbian. But it's all the same language. There's, uh, there's no difference. But, <laughs> don't tell them that to the face. They're a very, very, very proud country, and so they should be. They've got a lot of things going for themselves. So back to the boats as well. There you go. Now, I'm only showing you where I'm, where I'm hanging out, where uh, uh, my villa is, and what I'm doing around the villa. You can take a taxi. There's various deaths are oh, made. There's so much things to do. And it's all right, it's all about say, you know, that's a taxi you can get around, um, but you do need to jump on a boat to um, go to various other islands. Like Jazeera is about say 
on a, on a in a catsuit to get to Jazira is I don't know 45 minutes something like that rent out your whole boat you can get there in 20 minutes it's just bash bosh, bosh so you're not intertwining with the roads and all that stuff look at this baby Imagine being on that one. So like I said, to get that, you will need a boat license and a number of years experience with that license as well. You know, you can't just get a boat license and expect them to give you that. There are um, law enforcements on the, on the uh, in the water, ocean, whatever you want to call it. So you best have your documentations. So... And they will not, you can try and bargain with them to give you a powerful boat, but they're not having it. It's their boats, come on. So don't be that guy. But what it would definitely do, once you get these, uh, once you hire a boat which you don't need your boat license for, um, you get the itch. You get the itch to go back home and go uh, you know, find out how to get a boat license and go for the test. And incidentally, if you're gonna be here for about say two weeks, you can, go for your boat license over here um, it'd be far more cheaper but it takes roughly about say a week you've got to arrange the appointment you've got to do the exam um, you have to wait for the results and then yeah but it is possible to do that within your two weeks of being here if you're going to be that long but if you're not then yeah you can get yourself a uh, I don't know a, a 10 to 15 20 horsepower boat, go for the, the 20 horsepower boat, um, that will get you around to the island um, far more quicker than the 10 horsepower obviously, um, but there's hardly much difference in, bet in between the two. You won't find that until you're actually on the, the rough sea and on the choppy waves. And then cross the road, shop, go back on your boat, go about your business. Now I just saw Carlos. He's having, he just had a steak. Because apparently, dude, you can't have breakfast right now. now I like to, um, I'm gonna find. I was gonna go into that place over there, have the pizza and the salad bowl. This salad bowl is absolutely massive. Um, we are leaving today, and our pickup is gonna be at six o'clock. So there's plenty of things to do before then. Which I'm gonna link, link up with cars right now at the uh, some silver cafe and see what food they're having there. Eat and start my day. Show a bit on this side as well. Now, I've been running this for about, say, uh, recording this for about, say, best part of 20 minutes. And you see how quickly it look. You can't hide from it. Ride it. See? He's just, there you go. Standing there. Just all over the place. I don't know how they do it. So 
this is what the, the rental boats look like. You can see one going out now. Wait a minute. You see that behind me? Look that way. There you go. And then basically, these little ones. You see that one there? And you can see how easy it is to uh, put the, sh the, the, the shield down, you know, the, the, the sun block or whatever you want to call it. I love this one. Um, but yeah, so these are basically 110 pounds, 120 pounds, and you rent them from um, 9 o'clock in the morning all the way until 6 o'clock in the evening. And they put enough petrol for you to go around the island twice. Uh, and like I said, in, th in that particular boat, it will take you uh, about, I don't know, three hours. Something like that. If you're going to be stopping off, then that's a whole day. Um, but it's best to come back just before six o'clock because you're going to have a chock of the boats trying to dock, and that bridge opens. I'm showing them. That bridge opens from six. I'll come up the bridge in a second. That bridge opens from six o'clock, and then it's just like messy. It's just like a sea of boats trying to get through. As I said before, there's plenty of places to go and eat. What I've just shown you is literally 1%, 1 percent, one percent of this little amazing village. A teaser, so to speak. But it's really easy to walk around. You won't get yourself lost. Um, even if you're on a boat, you're not going to get yourself lost. They do carry guns. Security, police, whatever you want to call them. But they are really nice people. I suppose in a hot country like this, you haven't got time to be, uh, you know, be a wrong Just don't be a wrong Yeah, everybody comes right there. And everybody and everybody comes right there. It's like, this is the UK's new hotspot instead of Spain. Montenegro, Croatia. Serbia's really nice as well, but it's more of a city that's you need, if you want like the sea, it's Montenegro or Croatia. You're not going to be disappointed. Right, I'm going to have something to eat. So I'll see you guys later. So I'm going for a steak. Afternoon, morning, good evening. Are <laughs> you alright? Yes, we'll be kind of local. Drop it down. Yes. Yes. So, this is the place where I'm going to have. Uh, Nice food, steak. I love the way how you can just pull up on a boat. Come and eat your food. 